heroes and lone rangers, how's your belief that everything needs to happen through your own energy working? Are you feeling drained? Are, are those around you disengaged? I invite you into a different perspective with two ways of sharing power to increase sustained impact. And I did this blog in partnership with a former coaching client, Jim Kokomo, and he um, gave an example of sharing power with others when everyone brings and shares there's something, all have plenty and much left over, just like the feeding of the 5,000. And listening is very important in this process. And I also share uh, an example of sharing power spiritually. So even if you don't believe in God, you may believe in a deep and powerful unitive connection to the whole. And uh, my example was as my dad was declining, just like these times that we are in uh, with the pandemic and the uh, violence and the, the racial on justice coming to the forefront. Then there's times of feeling overwhelmed, of sorrow, of anger. And yet there were still some, some bright spots in my life and times where I woke up and I did have energy and, and hope. And um, one of those days was starting like I did today. Uh, one of my culturally confident credentialing mentor coaching groups and, and just having that sense of tapping into the spiritual power, which I need to remind myself of frequently, since I um, tend to be working on my own, living on my own, um, just tapping into that made such a huge difference in, in starting that cohort during my dad's uh, decline and the people that participated said that they felt cradled with safety. They felt my um, calmness and my embrace, those embrace is one of my values and uh, cradled in safety and yet ready for adventure. So I hope that's uh, what you can experience too. I'll put in the link to the blog so you can read the full examples. And I'd love to hear how sharing power relieves some of that hero, lone ranger draining of energy and engages the people around you. Thank you.